Where did you go recently? Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Iceland and Amsterdam. I'm jealous. Yeah. That's on the Let's bucket visit. list. Iceland is? Mm-hmm. They're the Just sweetest amazing. people. Amazing, yeah. Yeah, they're really, really down to earth and sweet. Yeah. Well, you're yeah. back now, and you're with us today on Servings Kitchen with a <laughs> Cause, and we're so happy to have you here. Thank you for uh, having me. Yes, and uh, so you are the director, executive director, is that? Coordinator. Coordinator mm -hmm. for Douglas County Safe Kids. Yes. And we're going to talk a whole lot more about Douglas County Safe Kids as we get into the show today. Um, we like to spend a little bit of time interviewing the person on the show. We spend sure. a little bit of time cooking. Excellent. And Lynn has no idea what we're cooking today. Okay. So she knows she has no idea what the ingredients are, no idea what the recipes are, neither do you. So we're all going to find out right here. This Great. we call the beach towel of deception. <laughs> That's right. Okay. These ingredients have been covered uh, before Lynn got here, so she has no idea if we're going to reveal them exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the ingredients, and we'll see if you can figure out what we're cooking. Ah, what is that? What do you think? A stew? Close. Very close. Soup? Soup, yes. All right. Recipe one is a soup. Mm -hmm. And it is actually Douglas County Safe Kidney Bean and Sausage <laughs> Soup. I love it. <laughs> and I then the it. second recipe okay. is Lynn Snow Peas. Oh, that's with perfect. Garlic and Parmesan. So Oh, delicious. There we go. That's what we're cooking today. Uh, we're gonna reset, we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna put her to work. We've got our dueling cutting boards here. I'm gonna put you to work. Okay. The first ingredients that are going into our soup. Carrots, sliced, celery, chopped, and then we're gonna be putting in our sausage and our tomatoes, chopped. So we'll put those in the middle. Whoever okay. finishes first has to take care of those. All right, so. Is this a race? Go ahead. Ready, <laughs> go. It's not fair because I have to skin my carrots. So how long have you been with Safe Kids? About two and a half years. Okay. And how in the world did your life take you to be the coordinator <laughs> of Safe Kids? That is an interesting question. I had always wanted to um, do nonprofit work uh -huh. and uh, I, well, I shouldn't say always. I actually had a great job that I loved. And then um, I was involved in another nonprofit um, volunteer position. And in that position, I uh, was involved with Leadership Douglas. Uh -huh. And one of our assignments was to do um, a book study. And it was about sort of finding yourself and what your meaning in life was. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we kind of went around the group and um, I think that day was wellness day. So we actually had someone from public health come in and speak with us. And I was not aware of all the services that um, that public health offered. Right, they've got tons and oh tons my gosh. of different things they do. And it's amazing to work for them because there are so many different departments I don't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a, it's a new, new uh, experience every day. It sure is. <clears throat> so anyways, we went around and I said, you know, um, I would really love to do something like that. It's This is really intriguing to me. And... Um, a couple weeks later, I got a call from uh, someone that was in my group, Chan Weeks. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she Keep sits Douglas on the board. So beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. She was on the board of Safe Kids, and she said, you know, as it happens, uh, I sit on the board, and they're looking for a coordinator, and I think you'd be perfect. You had mentioned you were interested. So that's how it all started. 
So I imagine that with that many different departments and, and things that, that you guys do, there's a lot of cross promotion and, and opportunity to kind of get the word out uh, by many different means. Mm -hmm because you guys are very involved with the community. Yes, absolutely. And um, as of late, one of, the, um, one of the injury prevention areas that we're working on is infant safe sleep. And uh -huh. um, we have been working with other- I'm a proponent of sleeping babies. <laughs> are you really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let them lie. Uh, yeah, so we're working with another uh, agency, um, Children First, mm -hmm. and then of course, um, you know, what other uh, uh, stakeholders there are in the county for uh, injury prevention and the safety of keeping our, uh, keeping children safe, I should say. Um, and we're trying to promote uh, safe sleep habits for caregivers. Okay. Because that's changed to some degree. Uh, and what we're finding is some um, of the caregivers now for little ones happens to be grandparents mm -hmm. and uh, safe sleep practices have changed. That's why we keep the dog around. <laughs> it's great. She cleans up after us. Can I help you? Or is this all going in the that bowl? That is perfect. That oh, is that's the a trash, trash bowl. bowl. Okay. So uh, actually what we can do, <clears throat> we'll bring this thing over here. They're all going in there. Okay. That can be opened up and put in there. Is that being cut into smaller pieces? Uh, we can kind of break that up if you want. That way we have, uh, they're more bite size and... Yeah, because they're kind of big. They're my bite size. <laughs> so how do you guys actually get the word out <clears throat> with your programs? You know, that's actually a challenge for us because as you can imagine as a nonprofit, we are very limited for marketing funds. So a lot of it is cross promotion and working together with other partners. So we have um, business partners, uh, partners in the community that are, um, that either sit on our coalition or, um, you know, they help us promote our programs. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and then we also, in terms of one of our programs, which is the child passenger safety, uh, we do regular seat checks. So I try to use whatever um, available resources there are in the, in the county for uh, free advertising. Right. And one of them would be Douglas County Happenings. Oh, so, I'm not real familiar with that. No? No, not at all. <laughs> um, so we really, and, and Wes has been great about um, getting our information on on that newsletter right so yeah that's got a <clears throat> lot of subscribers and also um Can something you do that? uh if you want to handle the sausage oh yeah will, that's right we'll take care of this okay but one of the things that that really has expanded obviously is social media mm -hmm. and, absolutely and one of the things that west does with happenings is he will include a lot of the stories on our facebook page for douglas county happenings and it has tons and tons of people who, who have access to that. Sure. I mean, I use that too. And I try to, um, you know, repost whatever might be relevant. So you may just go ahead and put this in, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Absolutely. So we've got our carrots cut up. We've got our uh, celery cut up that you did. We're working on the sausage, working on the tomatoes. The next step is we're going to add some water to cover everything, because this is a soup. Uh, and then we're gonna get it simmering. We're gonna let it simmer for about 90 minutes. Oh. Um, that'll kind of work everything together, <clears throat> get those flavors going, cook the sausage. And uh, as soon as we get that on, we're gonna reset, and we're gonna start the second recipe. So this, Douglas County Safe Kidney Bean and Sausage Soup, and then we're gonna be working on the Lynn Snow Peas with Garlic and Parmesan. I love it. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. 
I'll stop doing that now. Uh, His voice just got really deep. <laughs> yeah, so Lynn and I are still hard at work. You notice we have a little bit different setup here. The next step in the soup is to continue to let it simmer. We're going to saute a chopped up onion over here and then we're actually going to use this to cook the snow peas. However, I do want to go ahead and steam the snow peas because uh -huh. the sauteing in the garlic is basically just finishing it off, giving it a little extra flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and place these back here in the steamer, cover that up. We'll let it go for about 10 minutes. And this gets chopped? Yeah, uh, you can do it however you think it would be good in a soup. You can okay. do fine slices, you could do uh, uh, minced, you know, whatever you want to do. I'll leave it up to you. I'll do you big. You look like you know what you're doing. I'll so. do big chunks, how's that? Nice, I love chunky onion. Looks fantastic. <laughs> so we're gonna saute the onion in a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to go ahead and grab something to stir it with. I prefer using wood for the pots. It won't scratch up the, uh, the non-stick. And it won't melt. Yeah, it won't melt. That looks good. They do catch on fire, however. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> okay, do tell. <laughs> well, when you leave it too close to a flame, it's going to catch on fire. We'll just <laughs> things leave like it at that. that. Things like that happen. Yeah. And we can go ahead and chop up the uh, the potatoes if you want. We can leave the skin on if you want. You can yeah, wash them off. Let's do that. You know. So she's gonna go handle that. I'm gonna stay over here and stir up the onions. <clears throat> We're not really gonna do anything right this minute with the onions once they're cooked, or the potatoes, or anything like that. We're gonna kind of set them aside and wait for the soup to uh, cook the meat, basically, is what we're looking for. We're looking for the, the carrots and the celery to kind of soften. And then we'll add all the other items to the soup. But while we have time, we're gonna finish off these onions and we're gonna cook the snow peas. The Looks onion like will that. add a nice little base flavor for the, uh, for the snow peas as well. That sounds great. So I like to use the same pot or pan if I can, mm -hmm. if I think that flavor is going to add a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like if I've cooked bacon. We did a, a show with uh, Steve Horde from the Boys and Girls Club, mm -hmm. and we cooked homemade potatoes, potato chips, <gasps> but we had cooked yeah. bacon before. Okay. So we used the bacon grease to kind of nice. lather the potatoes. Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. All right, so if you want to get started on that, yep, I'll we'll continue do. with these. As soon as these snow peas are ready, we're going to throw them in the pan. Our onions are done. So I'm gonna let you. Smells amazing. And you did you did a great job stirring those up while oh, I was. Thank you. Checking my email. Picking the uh, yeah. rosemary. Oh you, yeah. So I added some rosemary. Nose. We just you know we thought that's gonna smell really good, so we threw some fresh rosemary in there. It smells. That wasn't in the recipe, but if you got it, do it. All right. Okay. So the next step is we're gonna continue to cook in the same pan, because now it's got the rosemary, it's got the onion smell. I mean, it's just kind of saturated. We got great stuff going on in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the oil, because we kind of absorbed all that. If you wanna open that up, okay. and I'll get you a spoon. We're gonna use one of my daughter's baby spoons. All I right. like to use those, because that's a great measuring uh, <laughs> it's scoop great for idea. garlic. I mean, it's, okay. it's a perfect measurement. So how much am I putting in? Um, wait just a second. We'll wait until we actually get the snow peas in here. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna come back here and, and get them out. All right, so here's our snow peas. 
you got us a bowl that we're gonna eventually put them in. Mm -hmm. All right, now we can put the garlic in. Okay. I'm just gonna use the same sure. spoon. How much? Uh, just a nice scoop. All That'll right. work. I like garlic. Yes. That's gonna smell good too. Oh yeah. And then uh, I've we can add a pinch <laughs> of salt right here and a little bit of the pepper. Oh man, that's starting to smell really good. My heel. Perfect. Okay. This is a great way to finish a lot oh, of different that vegetables. Great. Say when. That'll do it. Now a lot of people have kids that don't like garlic. It's a I little love strong. garlic. However, you can omit the garlic and do everything else that mm -hmm. we're gonna do and they'll eat it up. I've done this with broccoli, uh, regular green beans, uh, just all sorts of stuff. And what I do is I, I just let it go long enough to get a little bit of caramelization on there. Yum. That little char gives it a great taste. And at the last minute, we're gonna sprinkle some, uh, some Parmigiano Reggiano on there. Never go wrong with cheese. So fresh. Let me cut I'm that. I'm just breaking the seal. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> It'll be the first time. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. But you can try it in my home. I'll gladly eat what you make. There you go. I was gonna take your trash. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. I'm the trash man. All right. Oh, he's got the flip down right. too. All right. This is looking fantastic. Turn off the stove. Why don't you do that then? And then uh, we'll get this in here. Amazing. Perfect. Just sprinkle cheese on top. The cheese on top. Okay. The final touch. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Oop, got a little cheese on Perfect. the floor. Look at this. You gotta love that. That smells wonderful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait. <clears throat> we gotta take a taste. Two forks. All right. Kind of hot. It's gonna be a little hot. Blow it off a little bit. I'm waiting for you, just in case it's poisonous. It is. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's, that's delicious. Stuff. That's going on the uh, mm. the list of recipes. Olive oil, garlic. Salt, pepper, that's it, right? And cheese. And cheese. And you can use pretty much any kind of cheese you want, or don't put any cheese, however you want to do it. Very good. That's amazing. Our soup is continuing to simmer. Probably got about 45 minutes more. We're gonna add everything else and finish it up. We'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> We've got our ingredients. The last ones are gonna go into the soup, but before Great. we add those, I need to ask you a question. Sure. What are, the, some, what are some of the things that you do with safe kids out in the community? Uh, you know, like I said earlier, we have very limited budget for right. marketing, so right. I really try to get the word out um, about our services. So it's not like we have a budget to be able to, you know, advertise. Um, we are a an agency for the benefit of the community in mm -hmm. terms of um, helping to um, maintain the health of our children and prevent injuries. Mm -hmm. So um, I try to go out into the community and whenever possible if we have any sort of um, opportunities to exchange with um, you know residents, caregivers about um, what we offer, the services that we offer. Mm -hmm. Our best known program is for our car seat right, program. Right. Everybody knows about yeah. that. But um, we take a look at the um, injury profile for the county. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a health assessment done every year. Okay. And we look at, you know, what are the top causes of injury and death. Okay, so you assess the needs of the county mm -hmm. and then you kind of cater your services towards that. Correct, okay. yeah. And so, um, 
almost always uh, motor vehicle crashes are the right. top for every age group. So I try to go out and you know let people know of our services. Mm -hmm. um, not only do we you know, can we check your car seats and educate um, caregivers about the proper use and installation, but we do have a lower cost distribution program as well mm -hmm. for families that are um, on assistance and really can't afford um, right. those car seats. Now I know uh, car seat laws change a lot. Um, From time to time. Yeah, mm -hmm. since I've been in this position, we we <coughs> have featured the car seat checks from mm -hmm. time to time, and, and I know yeah. there was there was one point where it changed pretty significantly. So uh, Georgia State Patrol was actually out of the car seat inspection to, mm -hmm. to tell people about it. Um, if people are confused about it, can they call you and, and oh, find yeah. out? Absolutely. And okay. I get calls all the time. They can go to our website, okay. safekidsdouglascounty.org. And um, we have a car seat, we call them car seat inspection stations right. twice a month. But, um, you know, if there's an emergency situation, I try to cater to their needs as much as possible. Sometimes it's, um, it, it, our schedule is limited as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, and our, um, our inspection stations, you know, when they come to us, it's a set program. So we go over pretty much the A to Z right. on what they know, need to know. Yep, the the laws, uh, how to use the car seat properly, how to mm -hmm. install it properly for the child, mm -hmm. um, and as well as to help them install it into their vehicle. So, you know, from time to time you have to move that car seat to another yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, you know, it kind of creeps up on you. Yeah. Those kids, they keep growing. <laughs> they they sure keep do. feeding them, they keep growing. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, a lot of um, a lot of caregivers are not aware that they right. have to keep their children in an appropriate car seat until their eighth birthday, mm -hmm. and that is you mentioned earlier that the laws changed. That is something that changed because I think um, prior to two thousand eleven, it was age six, so mm -hmm. that has gone yeah. up. Shoot, mm -hmm. I didn't let my daughter, my oldest daughter, have her car seat until she started driving. <laughs> And we only let okay. her get out of it because it was smushing her between the wheel and uh -huh. the, in the yeah. chair. That's kind of uncomfortable. So, yeah, she yeah. barely fit. All right, so we've got our last ingredients. We're going to mm -hmm. put those in. So if you want to open these sure. cans for me, those are the kidney beans for the Douglas County Safe Kidney Bean and Sausage Soup. We've got our sautéed onions. I'm going to go add those real quick. Great. We've got our chopped up potatoes that you did a fine job on. They're, well, thank you. It looks like they're very consistent in size, which is what you want in a potato when you're cooking it, so they cook at the same speed. Good point. Put those in. Am I draining out the liquid from the No, beans? we're actually going to add the liquid. Ah, okay. So I guess that thickens the soup too. Now the recipe said wait until the very end to add the bouillon cubes, two bouillon, beef bouillon cubes. Okay. I don't agree with that. In my cooking experience, the more time that mm -hmm. your ingredients have to mingle, the better. Everything gets flavored. So Simmer in. we actually went ahead and added the beef bouillon cubes. Good decision. Yes. So they are fully incorporated. And if you want to add those in, I'll stand sure. here and watch. What you do best, right? Yeah. Okay. It's my expertise. <laughs> this is looking incredible. This is a whole meal in itself, but we also do have our Lynn snow peas <laughs> with garlic and parmesan to snack on while we're waiting. Can I use this too? Absolutely, it? that is the, okay. the appropriate utensil. Now soups are pretty cool because there's, there's a decent amount of work involved right there at the beginning. Uh, chopping and opening cans, that kind of thing. However, once you get it in the pot, you just leave it alone. Let it simmer for hours if you want. Just make sure the liquid doesn't get too far down. So if we it can does, get an apple pie. if it does, just add a little water. Um, you can even use a crock pot to do your soup in the morning. And when we get home from work, it's ready. Soups are all also cool because you can add whatever ingredients you want to. You could add uh, other types of beans, black-eyed peas, uh, whatever you want. You can add any vegetables you want. Sometimes I'll put collard greens in there or you mm. know, some type of uh, leafy green just to add another flavor. So we've got about 20 minutes left on this soup. 
and then we're gonna sample. I can't wait. Miss Snow Peas. Yes. We're at the end. We get to eat. Yes, the best part. So I let me grab your bowl first. Okay. It's still boiling hot, so let it cool. We'll have to huh? be a little careful. Make sure we get a piece of that sausage in there. We'll just get a sampling this time. That's all I get for all the work That's I've it. done. That's it. Okay. Now, since it's got kidney beans and sausage in the title, that's where I'm going first. Going for a piece of sausage. No cheese. Little kidney bean. Oh, cheese. Look at there. Can I put that's, some in for see, you? See, that's why I had you here. <laughs> for such times as these. Cheese makes everything oh, a little better. Oh, you got that right. Just need okay. some bacon bits or something. All right. You ready? Sure. Uh, no, same time? Yeah. Okay. So neither one of us can talk. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. And the cheese. Mm-hmm. Makes it, huh? Mm-hmm. That hint of cheesy saltiness from the... Parmesan. Kind of like you. I made, mean, yeah. A hint of cheesiness. More than Cheese. a hint. Cheesy saltiness. Yeah, there's more, more than a hint with me. <laughs> this is really good. It's really mm -hmm. hot, so we're going to let it cool down. But I want to thank you so much. Thank you for, for being having on the me. Show this was fun. And bringing your expertise and your knife handling skills. You did amazing. Thank so you. once again, we have the Douglas County Safe Kidney yes. Bean and Sausage Soup and the Lynn Snow Peas with garlic like and Parmesan. That's perfect. And a little rosemary. So we will see you guys next time. And if you need any more information about Douglas County Safe Kids, what do they do? They can call 770-949-5155 or visit our website, safekidsdouglascounty.org. Awesome. We'll see you next time on Servings Kitchen with a Cause.